Hello, this is Paul Sutherland. Haven't done a video in a long time. Gonna try to do one. Here I have a couple things a little different. I have two different microphones. One channel mic is on the uh, on the amplifier and one is next to me. So if, if one or the other is too loud, just adjust your channels and hopefully that'll work. This video is to talk about diminished chords and arpeggios. Uh, typically diminished chords you think of you might think of jazz and uh, that's unfortunate if, you, if that's all you think because this can be used many other places including in traditional country music. The, uh, let's start by we're going I'm going to show you Let's just play an open E chord. And here, here are just strings 8, 6, and 5. That, that's unremarkable. And then now we're going to, instead of playing the 8th string, play the ninth string. So it's a 7th it's a sounding. It's the 7th, it's a flat 7. The D note on the ninth string is... 7ths, um, so you usually think of them on the top on the chord, but they don't have to be. It can be on the bottom. So that's a 7th chord. Or if you wanted to play that same thing and have the sev have the flat seven, the D note on top, lower the second string a half tone and play five, six, and two. And so that should be set. That should sound real familiar to you. So if you were playing an E, you you. The seventh, the dominant seventh chord is a leading chord, leads you to the next chord, which is typically an A chord. However, if you take those same strings and you do something else, you play, let's go back to the low, the low D. So I'm going to play 5, 6, and 9. What I did there is I went up every three frets, played the exact same strings, open, third fret, sixth, ninth, and twelfth. Now I'm actually no longer playing an E dominant seventh chord. I'm playing an F diminished. Now that may seem really odd to you that I would say F, but that's what it is. And, and every three frets it repeats. And the, the way that works out in a song, if I were to play here I'm playing at the 8th fret with pedals down. Now what I... I played the uh, F, F chord, dom, the F diminished, at the second inversion. So the first inversion would be, as I described it, it would be no pedals and no bar. And then the first inversion is a third fret. Sixth, sixth fret is the second inversion. Those are just inversions of a, of a diminished chord. So if I play the... That should sound, sound to you like a, a, a reasonable passing chord. There I did the same thing, except instead of using the ninth string, I used... I, I used this, uh, five, six, and two with the second string lower to half. So I used the second, second inversion. Instead of using, okay, let me backtrack. I, I knew this difficult video was going to be difficult. Uh, why do I call this an F, an F diminished? Well, in a diminished chord, you're lowering the third interval, a half tone, and you're lowering the fifth interval, a half tone. Well, how do you get that on a on a E9 standard setup? 
Well, the easiest way is use the F knee lever. So I'm, I'm using my knee lever that raises my E's to F's. And now, if I think, if I think, now I'm thinking D, I mean, excuse me, I'm thinking F. Now that, with no, with no uh, bar, the sixth string is, is a minor third interval to F. So it's a flatted, it, it, it's, you know, it, without touching any other pedals, the, the sixth string is a flat third, the fifth string is a flat five. And I'm calling it an F diminished. I have read, it, this is, you can actually call a diminished chord by any note in the chord. So I could call this a, uh, I could call it a G sharp diminished, I could call it a B diminished, I can call it an F diminished, and I can call it a D diminished, because D is, I haven't got to the D yet, but, well, we talked about it before, but, but typically when you, when you're reading music, if it says uh, uh, F diminished, the F would be the base would be the lowest pitch, but that but that's you don't have to limit yourself when you're playing an instrument like pedal steel. You don't have to make sure that you have the lowest note being the name of the chord, the name of the diminished chord. It can be any of the note in the chord. Now why do I, okay? So I said. I, what I did there was I used a diminished chord on every passage. So I went, here I'm at the 12th fret, so I'm playing E. Now I go in F diminished, because that's the passage you want. Now I got an A. That, that, that's... Whoops. Let me say it this way. E to F diminished, A to A, A sharp diminished, B flat diminished, whichever is correct, I don't know. Now B, C diminished. So whenever you are in the in the no pedals position, the diminished chord that you're looking for to go to the like to the four chord, you just bring in the F lever. Now I'm going to go from the um, four chord, the A chord. I want to go to the uh, back to the one, but I want to pass through the diminished. I'm going to hit that F lever at the fifth fret, and then now, I'm, now there, there's a um, E at the um, an E chord at the seventh fret pedals down. Now I play the B chord, and I want to go from the B chord back to the E. But now, because you can slide these things, it's and you have to visualize this and, and ingrain this in your brain. There's all kinds of possibilities because you start seeing so many things that you can play in between you know, rather than just playing, okay, now I'm playing in this, on the 7th uh, fret with pedals down, and now I'm going to play on the 5th fret, and now I'm going to play the 7th fret with pedals up. There's so much more. Okay, 
let me let me say add one one bit here. I talked about where is the diminished chord when you're playing in the no pedals position. When you're playing now, let's talk about when you're playing in the pedals down position. You back the bar down one fret, come off the pedals, and come on the F D lever. Let's see. And you don't have to stay. There, that that let me let's explain that again now. So there's, and I'm just playing eight six five. Sometimes I'm playing four. That doesn't really matter. That's just different inversions. So I'm playing in the key of E. I'm playing twelfth fret, nothing with no pedals or levers. And I now I raise that, raise that, raise the E's to the F with the F lever. And now I'm going to go pedals down. I go, so now I've gone to the e, A chord at the pedals down position, 12th fret, come off the pedals, slide down one fret and bring in the F pedal, and, and then back to the E chord, open, uh, 12th fret, and then now 14th fret, and I just went 14 down to 13, coming off the floor pedal and just bringing in the knee lever. And, and then now I hit, now I hit the uh, resolve on the E chord at the 12th fret, no pedals or levers. Now every time I go to the um, one of those positions, instead of staying I'm going to move. I'm going to move to the next inversion, whether I go up or down. Doesn't really matter, but the movement is three frets. So. So that there, each time when I went to the A, went to the F lever position, I moved. I hit I hit it that at that first inversion and then I moved. And now I'm going to move the other way. Whoops. I think I did that wrong. So so now you're starting to get some movement. Um, okay. Now you can do all of that without using a lever. I'm going to try to do the same thing, but I, it's, I'm thinking those positions. But in order to get the diminished, I don't have to play the full diminished chord. Is actually it's it's here now. I'm playing it F, G sharp, B, and and a D reaching up to the second string with these. But I don't have to play all four notes to get the, the, the effect of the diminished chord or arpeggio. Um, particularly when I start sliding, because whatever note is missing, in, in, in the, like, okay, there, I'm missing that note. Well, I'm missing the high, high D. Well, there's the D. So, so as soon as I slid three frets to the next inversion, I dropped off whatever was on the bottom and I brought in whatever was missing on the top. Okay, so I, I and I, I don't play with a fourth finger pick. Um, most people don't. So don't think that you have to play all four notes to play a full diminished chord. 
But what I do find fascinating is if I play five, six, and two, that's just a straight E, E dominant seventh chord. It's an E seventh chord. But as soon as I move it, it's no longer an E dominant seventh, it's an F diminished. That's just kind of a little brain teaser. Okay. You can do simple stuff like that. Here I'm playing, I'm playing 12th fret, 6, 5, 4. And I'm going, I'm going now down to the 11th fret, playing 5, 6, and 2, lower to half. And then I'm going to 10th fret, 5, 6, and 2, not, not with the second string lowered. So, I like that. Um, and then, so 10th fret, sliding down to the 7th fret, still holding the second string lower to half tone. And that should be... Whoops. That's something. Because you can do all of these. Because you have, you you have. Okay, let me let me show you something else here. Okay, I basically that was all diminished stuff, but instead of using the E to F lever. I was using the, the ninth string. How, now, how do I know why that's going to work? It's because I've, I've done this many, many times. The e, if I go, if I use, I, I just happen to know that the, let's say, one, two, three, four, the fourth inversion of, of the uh, diminished chord is two frets above the pedals down position. And I can just, and wherever it is, wherever I hit the diminished chord, I can, go, I can go down or I can go up. Or I can skip. There I went from the, let's see, fourth to the second inversion, and then back to the third. Okay, so, so, so it, just the starting point from the pedals down is two frets up, so that's going to be the uh, ninth fret. Whoops. And then, uh, um, and then I go to the, play the A chord, and then the diminished that follows. It's just going to be five, eight, eleven. Just three frets. And then the, for the B, come up, come off. No pedals. Seventh fret. And then and go hit that D string. There's okay. Symmetrically, um, from the what from the pedals down, I have two frets up is a starting point that will get me to a um, to go from the one chord to the four chord. And then the 
I, I guess what I'm trying to say is every fret, every fret has an inversion of a diminished chord of one of the of one of the uh, three, whether it's the one, the four, or the five. It's either the diminished that follows the one, the diminished that follows the four, or the diminished that follows the five. So every single fret has a diminished chord. Whoops. 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 Hey, you can start doing things. Let me just show you. Here's something I like to do. It's kind of a drill where I just try, I try to find somewhere on the neck that I can move the bar one fret, one fret only. That's so I, I must find something that is passable every single fret. And I have come up with this. So 12th fret. Now what is that? Well, let's see that. That's the diminished the, following an A, so it's a B flat diminished. And then now I'm hitting, so I, so that's uh, strings three, four, five. Open at twelve with the F lever at eleven, and then I'm going to hit A and F, or the A floor pedal and the F. And what I'm playing there is simply a B chord. Then I'm then I'm going down, I'm going from there down to the ninth fret. So 12, 11, 10. And that's kind of a suspended, I believe. It's I'm, I'm using the B floor paddle by itself, playing strings three, four, and five at the ninth fret. And then I'm going to the eighth fret. This is all strings three, four, and five. And then this is uh, eighth fret with the F lever only. And then the seventh fret with no pedals or levers. And then the sixth fret with the F lever only. And what's that? What is that F? That that's. Okay, let me, where was I? Um, I think I was to the seventh fret. Seventh fret with no pedals or levers. Yeah, I, I had done the eighth, seventh, no levers, pedals or levers. And then sixth pedal, I mean sixth fret, excuse me, sixth fret. Sixth fret with the F lever. Fifth fret with no pedals or levers. And then the fourth fret with F lever only. And then the third fret with A and F. And then the uh, second fret with A and B pedals. And then I, I kind of like to drop down a set of strings for, for this one. So this would be five, five and six, uh, four, five and six. With, at the first fret, F, F lever, F lever only. And then, it, and then I come off the F lever and go on the, the lever that lowers the fourth string a half tone. or levers. So the whole thing, if I can play it right. It's just kind of a brain teaser. Uh, bits and pieces you can probably use in songs, but um, it gets you starting to think that I don't have to move the bar from... playing in those standard pedal positions. You need to learn everything that's in between and as many possible ways as you can play things. And that's just tons and tons of experimentation. And um, that isn't going to work. But anyway, okay.
me think it was. I knew this was going to be a hard video. This is why I've been putting this off for so long. But I would say if the more you can work on explore your your tuning and try to figure out these chords and arpeggio. Oh, I did arpeggios. thing that I just keep coming across. Now, it was real quick, but I went from the one to the five. I'm, at, I'm in strings three, four, and five at the tenth fret with just the F lever. It's just that little thing where I'm playing a five chord, the band's playing the five chord, and, but I jump up to playing the diminished that would work with the f coming out of the four chord. So, and so I very quickly go from a five chord, fi a five diminished, if that's the correct terminology, probably isn't, to a four diminished, back to a five diminished. Whoops. It's it, it happens so fast that if it's dissonant, it's adding flavor. It's it's not it's not like you you're like the band is playing a five chord and you're an absolutely wrong note. In, in, a, in a sense you are, but you're playing it so fast it creates a little bit of tension that you very quickly resolve. Anyway, uh, think every third threat and figure out what you can do using the second string lower to half, the ninth string, uh, or using the A and F lever. And have fun.